up, buddy? I'm done working out. You ready to head out? Yeah, man. Let me just hit a few cheat reps first. You know, make sure I get everything in that I can. Sure, man. No problem. Now, one of the essential rules, the rule of thumb for really anything, is training to failure. That is the whole point of working out. The whole point is to defeat your muscles, to tear them down. So next time they decide they're going to build up so they can work and do a little bit more. Lift a little heavier, go a little faster. That is the point of working out. It is to get those developments. Now, one of the great ways of doing it is, you know, you start by warming up because your arms are tired. You haven't really done a whole lot. So you just do a few reps, you know, to get them warmed up, get them pumped, get them, the adrenaline going. And then you work out towards the middle and stuff lifting and doing good and if you feel amazing you're lifting heavy weights you're doing pretty good high reps or even low reps depending on what you're trying to do but then towards the end we get tired and we have trouble making the last few lifts and so one of the things that most people do is they do cheat reps towards the end now a cheat rep a lot of you were probably thinking you can just throw the weight around and do whatever you want it's a cheat rep forget it you don't <laughs> decency or anything like that you don't even have to worry about Wrong. Truth is, even the cheat reps have to have at least a little bit of control or something. Otherwise, it's a waste. Because a lot of people, what I'll see them do is they'll just pick it up. And like I showed earlier with that little funny demonstration, is even though I was lifting like this, that was probably not even working the biceps at all. If anything, maybe it was the forearm a little bit or shoulder, but it definitely wasn't the, for, uh, the biceps. And so, really... Um, even a cheat rep should have some sort of watch on it. You should be paying attention. You shouldn't just be thinking, you know what, so long as I just do this, because there is a right way to cheat. So I already started with the example of a bicep. I'm going to go ahead and show an example of cheating with bicep curls and doing it properly. But before I get into that, if you like what you see, drop comments, drop likes, go to my website, subscribe, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like, however valuable this information is to you. Okay, so first thing is first. Your dumbbells. First rule about cheating is you actually have to make sure you're still working out that muscle. So for example, you want to try and keep your body same position with this. I'm basically trying to do the same thing. The only difference is that maybe I'm using my weight to help throw it up. So if I can't get it up all the way like this, what I'll do is I might go like that. But I use my whole body. The reason for it is because if I decide to use the momentum of my arms instead, like I showed earlier, you might go forward, backwards, and you might be working different muscles rather than what you were trying to do to begin with. Let's go with another example, tricep extension. Say I got a dumbbell back here. I'm trying to go up and down to work the back of the arm here. If I can't, if I have trouble, go a little bit down and go up, you know, use a little bit of momentum. That is fine. But when you start deciding to do, or you just like totally weird out with your arms, <laughs> then what happens is, is you lose the tension and you lose really the, um, I guess tension is just really the right word, on the specific muscle you're trying to work. And if you lose that, then everything you're doing is pretty much a waste. A lot of other people will also decide to move to lighter weights. And although that's not bad, and I definitely like the idea, if you're trying to build muscle, I wouldn't recommend it. Because building muscle means lifting heavier. Now, if you decide to always resort to lower weights whenever it gets too much, you might not see as many results as you would like. Rather, just cheat using the heavier weights. So, and I remember doing this too, is when I first started out, the only thing I actually did is because we had like one pair of dumbbells and it was a 20. And for me starting out, that was kind of heavy. And, but I told myself if that was the only one we had, that's the only one I'm going to use. And so what I did is when I couldn't pick it up anymore, my arms were tired, it, it, was, it hurt. And for the most part, those three exercises I did, hammer, or normal curls, hammer curls, and then sit-ups. I'm trying to think. I thought there was a third exercise I did for biceps, but... Essentially, all I did was bicep workouts, you know, before I really realized that there was all sorts of different muscles. But the reason I bring this up is because I only had heavy weights. And from those heavy weights, I actually seen more results within the first three months, within even the first year of training. Doing that 
than I have in the rest six years that I've been doing this, trying lighter weights, going faster. That is great for toning your arms. By toning, I mean you'll see the different individual muscles a little better. And if you do cardio, then it'll look better because you also see veins and it'll show more. But if you want size, which is what I'm going to start going for, is you want to lift heavy, heavy low reps. Really is what it is. And I shouldn't say low reps, but it should be heavy enough where you can't do a whole lot of reps. That's really the difference I'm trying to make. And so when you cheat, don't pick up the heavy weights. If your goal is to get bigger and if your goal is to get more leaner, go ahead, pick up lighter weights, go, you know, more reps to make up for the lack of weight. That's fine. But if you want to build muscle or mass, when you cheat, keep with the same weight or a heavier weight and you can do some cheating towards the end if you got to. So now that you know how to cheat properly, make sure when you're at the gym, you don't make a fool out of yourself like that guy. Am I doing it right yet? Am I doing it right yet? Am I doing it? Did I do it right yet?